And all this week, a salute to nurses for Nurses Appreciation Week. This year, it goes without saying how grateful we all are for those that are on the front lines in the fight against the coronavirus. And while all deserve a lot of recognition, our Dave McKinley was contacted by the father of a nurse who contracted the virus, but instead of retreating, charged back into the battle. In late March, Gina Virtuoso, a medical surgical nurse here at Sisters Hospital, fell ill. Mainly felt like I had the flu. A test confirmed it was COVID-19. After two weeks of home isolation, she recovered, but instead of returning to Sisters, she transferred to St. Joseph's, a COVID-19 only hospital and which handles many of the worst cases. You had a choice. You didn't have to go there. No, I did not have to go there. I wanted to go there. Yes, she has a family and, like others, worried about possibly bringing the virus home. But she felt comfortable with the protective measures put in place. And because she'd gone through the virus herself... I felt like I can give back to the patients there and share my experience with them. She has not regretted it. This definitely is rewarding to see these people, you know, some of these people get discharged and get on with their lives. It also must be pretty tough some days when that doesn't happen. It is, it is very tough because you get very close to these patients and, you know, before all this happened, you got very close to their family members also. Doctors and nurses deal in science and in medicine, but most any one of them will tell you that the role of a loving family is critical in a patient's recovery. Then along come COVID and the rules for that changed. Families are not allowed inside the hospitals. You cannot stroke the hair of your suffering spouse. They can't touch the loving face of their child. And so now you take on an additional role. You do. A lot of them are, you know, they're older, they're scared, you know. They don't know what to do. And I mean, we're there, we're talking to them, we're holding their hands. And figuratively holding the hands of their loved ones as well. A lot of the, you know, nurses will FaceTime with the families. I mean, I talked to family members last night to assure them their loved one, you know, was doing well. They were very appreciative. She's not comfortable with the term hero. No, just like to wish all my fellow nurses a happy Nurses Week, and I'm thankful for you. Indeed. Aren't we all? Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.